Welcome everybody and welcome to another top 5 creative parks for the month of January. Yeah. If you're new here, this is a series where I review all the creative parks submitted each month and I choose the top 5 for that month. All the parks come from the PlayStation version of the game. I review each park based on 3 categories, the aesthetics like the theme of the park, get ability, is it easy to skate on and do combos, and the fun factor, how fun is the park itself. And with that said and done, let's begin with number 5. The theme of this park is a prison. You start out in the courtyard of the prison where you can find the big open area with some picnic tables, fitness equipment, and a bench press, and even a basketball court. The creator of this park paid attention to details. This is just the courtyard. Once we get inside, we find more stuff like the entrance and even cells. This park does feel like a prison. As amazing as it looks, this park does have a big flaw. It is not very skatable. Skate pieces were added to make the prison and not into a skate park where you can do tricks and combos. This park is still fun to visit and has a creative theme. Even as a little challenge for escaping the prison, you just gotta spill three barrel sets, knock four boxes off tables, crash the guard booth, and do the big roof hole gap. On this park, you start out at the top of the park and you make your way down by using these rails. This park has a lot of rails to grind. The park is mostly made of rails and quarter pipes, but you can still skate it and do big combos. There are a few pieces to skate on. In the center of the map, it's just isolated from everything else. The biggest attraction of this park is the giant half pipe on the side of the park. It is a custom half pipe with the custom rails at the top and of course the floating smiley face. I like the colors of this park and they match the park's background. Everything feels well put together. This park looks big, but it feels small when you skate on it. This park reminded me a lot of the Philadelphia skate park in the base game. The biggest attraction of this park is the theme of the park. The whole park is under a bridge. The park is well put together, the only problem I had was that some of the quarter pipes are too short and they blend in with the ground so they are hard to see sometimes. I do like the way the whole park was decorated, it adds a more immersive experience and next to the bridge we have low poly buildings which make the immersion even better. The theme of the park is quite impressive, it's definitely one to try out next time you play. This park is filled with skate pieces, adding multiple areas to skate and do combos. You will probably not get bored from this park. There's a lot to do and a lot to see. This park is well decorated. All pieces are placed in a consistent way. My favorite part is that they added different levels to the park with these platforms and rails. It is just different than what we are used to seeing. This is a park I keep favorited. Do not let it go. Try it out. These parks so far are pretty awesome, but here are some honorable mentions.
Dripping Blue is the number one park for the month of January. Oh, yeah. I like the theme and the colors of this park. The aqua blue with gray looks great together. The park is pretty big with lots of places to skate, all offering different skate pieces. The biggest attraction of the park are the big and tall quarter pipes. These are a lot of fun. I spent most of my time here. You can, of course, ride up and down the pipes. You can also get to the top of the park where you can find more things to skate on. In this park, you can also do combos, especially if you start at the top of the park. This park just has everything. It has great aesthetics. It's easily skatable. And it is super fun to skate on. That's your top 5 creative parks for the month of January. Let me know in the comments which of these parks is your favorite. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss next month's top 5 video. It also helps out the channel. And go and watch your previous months, like top 5 for December. There you can find even more parks to try out. See you in the next video.